Hello, everyone. Welcome to your low impact workout. I am Caitlin. Today, we are starting a new phase. So, we're on phase nine, week one, and we are doing upper push, lower pull. For weights, you will want a medium set of dumbbells. Um, and then, if you want to have one or two heavier dumbbells as well, grab those, and those can just be on the side in case you want to switch to a heavier set. So, during this phase, we are going to be doing some more circuits. Uh, adding in a little bit of cardio into our spring section. So it's going to be a nice uh, muscular endurance, but also cardiovascular endurance phase. We are going to be starting with our pillar prep in a reverse scorpion. So on the ground, right leg in the air, arms up to the side, drop that leg across, stack your hips, both shoulder blades touch the ground. And then we'll switch on over to our other side. The so left leg up, drop across. So three or four reps each side here. We've been sitting at a desk for most of the day. Taking a little extra time on each side. Just to release that tension in your low back. Wonderful. Next, we are going to flip over to one side. Then we will take our arms, stack them on top of each other. We're doing 90 degrees with our legs, 90 degrees with our arms. Um, exhale as we bring our top arm over, touching the ground all the way around. Inhale, come back and across. Good. Exhale, coming up and over, opening up your chest. Inhale, back across. Let's do four reps total here. Last one. Perfect, switching on over to your other side. So again, 90 degrees with your legs, 90 degrees with your arms. Exhale, bring that top arm over. Opening up that chest, feeling that nice motion through your shoulder as well. Four reps here. And then last one. And perfect. We are going to flip over into a plank position. We'll take our right foot, lift in the air, step outside of our right hand. If you want, you can add in um, a knee drop, drop that to the ground, or you can keep that leg pressed up. We're going to take our right arm, lift in the air, adding in a little bit of spinal twist. Put your right arm back down, step back, and switch over to your left side. The left foot steps up, rotate. Side to side, we're just doing three each side here. Feeling that nice stretch to your hip, also through your upper back when you add in your twist. Last one. And perfect. Ending on all fours, you're going to go into a bird dog position. So, right arm, left knee coming together. Really engage your core and then extend. We're going to go five reps here. Starting that motion with the engagement from your core. Last rep. And good, switching sides. Perfect. Once you finish five on each side, standing on up, we are going to go into our last exercise in our pillar prep, a single leg RDL. So we're going to find that balance in one leg. I'm going to on my right side first. I'm going to kick back, staying nice and flat. Shoulders stay back and strong, and then stand back up. Do three reps on one side, three reps on the other. Take your time right here. Find that balance, nice little stretch for your hamstring. Once you've done three on one side, feel free to switch sides. If you need to hold on to something, go for it. Just use light fingertips and really work on that balance. 
Okay. Finish up those reps, and then we are moving into our movement prep. So we're going to be starting with a glute bridge on the ground. It'll be about 20 seconds on, 15 seconds up. Your heels are going to be close to your back. Pressing up, engage your glutes, come back down. Ready in three, two, one. We're on, press those hips up in the air, back down. Find that glute engagement. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Flipping on over, we're going into a pillar bridge position. So we're going to be in this position here, adding in a little hip twist side to side. You modify your knees here, just pull this pillar bridge. Don't worry about moving. In three, two, one. We're on. So if you can go up on your toes, please do. And then add in that little hip twist. We're just going for about 20 seconds. There's three, two, one. Good. Keep your knees standing up. You're going into squats next. So just feet as wide as it feels comfortable. You're just sitting your heels, stand back up, power on the way up. In three, two, one. We're on. Squat down, stand up. Good. If you're feeling a little tight, you can start with little squats. Getting a little lower each rep. Check in. You're keeping your chest up. There's three, two, and one. So the last exercise to learn here is our pillar march. So driving as knees up, alternating in three, two, one. We're on. Good. If you want to take this up, to a higher impact class, feel free to add in a little skip here. Nice. There's three, two, one. Perfect. We're starting back at the top with our glute bridges one more time each exercise, and then we'll be moving on to our strength and power. Ready? Glute bridges in three. Two, one, we're on. Push those hips in the air. Finding that glute engagement. Also trying to feel that nice strong core engagement here too. Especially as you lift those hips up at the top. Really nice. There's three, two, one, perfect. Rolling on over, we're going into that pillar bridge position, adding in that little hip twist or doing some pillar bridges on your knees. In three, two, one, good. Staying flat here, adding in that little twist. Good, staying strong all the way through this one. Here's three, two, one, good. Standing on up, we're going to our squats next. Okay, sitting in our heels, in three, two, one, we're on. Squat down, power on the way up. You're just working through that motion in round one. Try to go a little lower here, round two. Really nice. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Going into our pillar march or pillar skip. In three, two, one. We are on marching or skipping, driving that knee up. Good. There's three. Two, one. Awesome job. Grab a drink right here. You will need that medium set of weights close by. Uh, 
Okay, so we are going into our first strength group. First, we're going to be doing tricep push-ups into a one one two floor press into a no jump burpee. Um, I'll show some modifications um, and some different options here. So we're going to be starting on our knees, or if you want to make them challenging, go onto your toes. You'll have your hands in a triangle position, or you're going to keep your hands out to the side, keeping your elbows really close by as you push. You can also modify this up to a couch, chair, or counter to make it a little bit easier. Uh, and then we're going to be going into a one one two bench press or floor press. So on our back, starting with our elbows out to the side, we're going to go one arm, other arm, both arms. One, one, two. Perfect. And then we're going to set our weights down. We're going to be standing on up and go into our no jump burpee. So it'll be up, step back, step back up, stand up. If you want to add in a little bit more intensity, do whatever version of a burpee that works for you. Okay, we are going to be starting with our tricep push ups. 20 seconds on, 15 seconds off. In three, two, one, we are on. So keeping those elbows really close to your side, no matter which option you choose. Remember, these are a little harder than normal push-ups, so if you need to modify up to a counter or a chair, that's just fine, just make sure it's stable. Three, two, one, perfect. So rolling onto our side, and then rolling onto our back, grabbing those weights. We're going one, one, two, okay? And three, two, one. We're on. And so one, one, two, good. Nice strong punch away from your body towards the ceiling. Really nice job here. And good. So rolling over onto your side, set those weights down. We are going to go into our no jump burpees next. Getting ready in three, two, one. We're on. Good. So step back, step back up. Again, this one you can do to a couch or a chair as well. So you don't need to go all the way down to the ground. Yeah, really nice. Keep it going. There's three, two, one. Nice job. Good. We'll go back down. Going through two more rounds just like that. This strength and power phase is going to take up most of our workout. So we're really bringing that focus right here. Ready? We are on tricep push ups, keeping those elbows in. Nice, there's three, two, one, perfect. Flipping on over your back, grabbing those weights. One, one, two, in three, two, one, we're on. One, one, two. If you want to push your hips into the air, to get that glute engagement as well, make it a little bit more of a full body exercise, go for it. And good, set those weights down, roll on over, come on up, going into those burpees. Okay, starting in three, two, one, we are on, good, step back, step back up, stand up. Nice job here. There's three, two, one. Woo! Okay, team, one final round here for these exercises. Then we'll get a break and switch it up. Okay, elbows to your side. Starting in three, two, one. You're on. Good. 
Good. Push the ground away from you. Last rep. There's 30. Two, one. Perfect. Flipping over into your side and onto your back. Grabbing those weights. Pushing those hips up in the air for the extra challenge. In three, two, one. We're on. One, one, two. Let's go. Really nice. Finish that out. And good. Set those weights down at your sides. Roll on over onto your side. Then come on up. We're going into our burpees. Last round here. There's three. Two. One. We're on. Good. Step back. Step back up. Really nice. There's three, two, one. Awesome job. Grab a drink. We get a full minute break right here. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so our next exercise is we'll be going into an RDL first. So we'll use both of those medium weights again. Slight bend in your knees, weight stays in your heels, and then the weight stay nice and close to your legs. So you're gonna come halfway down your shins, come back up. Feel a nice stretch, nice little pull through your hamstrings. Then you're gonna set one weight down and bring that other weight to your chest. We're going into a goblet drop lunge and then switching over to that other side. Making sure you're not stepping too far back to make it feel like any, any pain in your hip. And then we are going to cross model climbers. So in a plank position, we're going to bring our knee under and across. You can always modify up to a couch or chair, under and across. Okay, we're going to get ready to go in 20 seconds. Make sure you grab that final drink. Three rounds right in a row, starting with that RDL. Okay, let's get ready. Starting in three, two, one, go. Keep those weights close. Standing on up. Feel that little pull through your hamstrings. Okay. There's three. Two. Get that last one in. And one. Set down one weight. Or if this is a new exercise for you, get rid of both weights and just focus on your form. We're going into that drop lunge, alternating sides. In three, two, one. We're on back and across. Knee doesn't quite touch the ground. And perfect, set that way down. We are going into our cross mountain climbers. In that plank position, knee comes under and across your midline. Okay, starting in three, two, one. We're on. Under and across, keeping your core tight. Bring this one a little quicker if you can. Here's three, two, one, perfect. Standing on up, coming into round two. Starting with that already up. Okay, getting ready. In three, two, one, we're on. Focusing on that form, nice flat back. Again, only going halfway down your shins. Not all the way down to your toes. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Set down one weight. Going into that drop lunge. If something felt a little off last time, really focus on that form. In three, two, 
One, good. So you're going to step back across and down. Make sure that front leg is in 90 degrees. Same with that back leg. You're just adding a little step under. You feel a little bit more in your outside glute. Here's three, two, one. Perfect. Set that weight down. We're going into our cross mountain climbers. Getting ready to go here. In three, two, one. We're on under and across a little quick for this round. Finding that core engagement, feeling it every rep. You start to feel it more in your low back. Your hips are probably dropping down. So keep them up. Three, two, one. Awesome. One more round. Here we go. Grabbing those weights, getting ready for that RBL. In three, two, one. We're on. Nice job here. 10 seconds. Focusing on that form. Let's go. There's three, two, one. Good. Set down one weight. Going into our drop lunges. Okay. Getting ready to bring it in three, two, one. We're on. Good, going a little lower this round. You've been holding back. Here's three, two, and one. Perfect. Set the weight down. Going into our cross mountain climb, this last one here. Okay, getting ready. Let's go. In three, two, one. We're on under and across. A little faster. Finishing out this group of exercises in your third round through them. Let's go. Here's three, two, one. Awesome, awesome job. Grab a drink right here. Take a little breather. Woo. Okay, so we have one more group of exercises today to learn and run through. So we are going into some upper body, starting with tricep kickbacks. We'll need that medium set of weights again. If your medium set is on the heavier side, you might need to switch to some lighter weights or some cans. So elbows are in, chest is over, shoulders are back and down. You're gonna kick back, trying to not swing. Hold when your arms are extended for half of a second to a second, depending on how heavy your weights are. Then we're going into a one, one, two strict press. So core is engaged. You're gonna press one arm over, other arm over, both arms. So one, one, two, perfect. Then we will go into our dumbbell swing. So we'll hold on to one dumbbell. If you happen to have a kettlebell, you can use that too. You're gonna swing through. Power through your glutes on the way up, going into our cardio exercise. Okay, going through three rounds there. Starting in five seconds. <laughs> Let's go. Tries a kickback. We are on 20 seconds right here. Keeping those shoulders back and down. Back is flat. Weights in your heels. Here's three, two, one. Good, shake it out. We're going into our one, one, two strict press. So strict press means that your legs are not pressing at all, not helping. All the power is coming from your arms, but also holding on with your core engagement. Ready, we're on one, one, two. Nice, pressing straight over your head, not in front of your face on this one.
And good. Set one weight down. Make sure it's not in the way. We're going into our swings. Last one for our first round. Okay, getting ready. Three, two, one. Good. So power from your hips is what brings that weight up. Up to where your eyes are. So you can stay looking forward the whole time. Or you can follow the weight slightly. And I want you to look all the way underneath. There's three, two, one. Nice job. Shake it off. Two more rounds today. Then we are just going to stretch out after this. So you can give it your all right here. Tricep kickback. In three, two, one. We're on kickback. So this time I want you to focus on not swinging. Holding those upper arms stable. There's three, two, one. Good, shake it off. Going into our one, one, two strict press. Okay, let's get ready. In three, two, one. We're on, one, one. Two, good. Power when you push. Here's three, two, one. Nice job. Set that one weight down. Going into our swings. Again, power from our hips. Make sure you're not squatting down too much. So you can get that power and it's not going into your quads. Three, two, one, we're on. Let's go. Nice. Here's three, two, one. Awesome job. Set your weight down, shake it off. Final round today, okay? Make it great right here. Starting with that tricep kickback. In three, two, one, we're on kickback. Good, shoulders are staying back and down. No swinging. Three, two, one, awesome, one, one, two, strict press. Getting ready to go. Starting in three, two, one. We're on, one, one, two, good. Actively finding that core engagement. Here's three, two, one. Nice job, set one way down, going into our swings. Woo. Okay, getting ready. Starting in three, two, one. We're on, power through those hips. Nice, 10 seconds here. There's three, two, one. Awesome job, set your weight down, grab a drink, take a nice break. Woo, made it through. Really nice intensity today. Great focus on form and core engagement, glute engagement. We are going to take about 30 seconds to a minute break, and then we're just going to go on to some stretches. So if your heart rate's high, feel free to take a little walk around your area, catch your breath. If you're doing okay, just stand and focus on your breath.
Good. So today we worked an upper push, lower pull. So those are the stretches we're going to do. We're going to start with a chest stretch. So elbows up, pulling those shoulders or those elbows back and down, opening up your chest and your shoulders. Inhale, come back around. And you can also add in a little bit of a crunch forward. So exhale, open. Inhale, crunch forward. This allows you to just get a little bit more movement through your upper back. It's a really great one to do during the day. Find yourself slouching at your desk. Stand up and do a few reps here. Nice, there's three, two, one, perfect. We're going to go onto the ground, onto our back. We'll take that right knee, pull it in towards our chest first. And then we'll extend it, grabbing behind our hamstring, pulling in, hamstring stretch. And we'll give our knee a little pinch again, pulling in. And then hamstring stretch. Okay, we're going to internally rotate that leg. Left leg comes up. Pull in behind your left leg so you get a really nice stretch through your right glutes and into your hip. Awesome. Dropping that leg. Left knee pulling in, give it a little pinch here, and then extend that leg pulling behind your hamstring. Good, giving that little pinch again. Bring your knee towards your chest, extend that leg pulling in behind your hamstring. And then internally rotate that leg, grabbing behind your right leg, feeling that nice stretch through your left glute and hip. Good. Awesome. We'll pull both of our knees in towards our chest. You can roll side to side if that feels good for you. Then we're going to roll on to one side, coming on up. We have time for just a couple more stretches. So we'll take our right leg, extend it. Left knee can be bent and in. And we're just going to bend at our waist, reaching towards that right leg. Bring your forehead down, close to your leg, or as close as you can get. You want to also grab over with your left arm. You can feel a nice little side body stretch. Then we'll take that left arm, bring it on the ground, push that right arm away, reversing what we just did. And then we'll come back down one more time on this side. So stretching towards our leg, trying to feel that nice side body stretch as well. Then left arm comes back, elbow on the ground, and we're reaching over. And then we'll switch sides. Good, so extend that left leg, right leg in, leaning toward that left leg, adding in that side body stretch by bringing the right over. Good, reverse here, right elbow on the ground, reaching over. And last one, coming back down, feeling that nice stretch again. And reverse. Thank you so much for joining today. We have express abs in about five minutes. So stay on if you'd like or jump off and jump back on. It's the same calendar invite. We also have the fitness center open currently 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
We will be having a new group fitness schedule uh, coming out for September. Uh, it'll be in our wellness newsletter and then we'll send it out again uh, next week. So look ahead for that. This class will be changing times to Monday. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day.